happy day in this video lecture we are going to discuss about memory segmentation in 8086 what is memory memory is the storage area we store data and all other essential required for processing okay so a memory consists of cells the individual units are called cells each unit can store up to specific bits of data say for example here each memory cell can store up to 8 bits of data which is 1 byte of data so in this apart from cells you could see the numbers they are nothing but the addresses assigned to each memory cell so each memory cell is identified by an address because when we want to retrieve data stored in the memory cell we need to access that properly for that we need to identify that so we use addressing so each memory cell which stores data has an address okay so in 8086 we have something called address bus okay so it consists of lines which carries address because only if you are able to like, give the address to the memory location we will be able to retrieve the address so the address bus in 8086 is of 20 bits in length so it can carry an address of size 20 bits so whenever i have an address bus of size 20 bits then the maximum addressable memory for that processor can be 2 par 20 in this case for 8086 it is 2 par 20 so the maximum addressable size of memory is 2 par 20 which is roughly equal to 1 mb of memory so as we said since address is an important aspect in memory so for 1 mb of memory what will be the starting address and ending address see here the address size is 20 bits it's very difficult to remember with 20 bits so we go in for hexadecimal notation to represent the address so it is 0000h to ff 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 h so the 0000h h indicates it's an hexadecimal notation so this is the starting address and ff ff h is a ending address so this is a general way of addressing the memory 1 mb of memory now here 8086 goes for what is called memory segmentation so could you see that the memory is divided into different segments that is a segment is just an area in the memory so the memory size is divided into segments of various sizes okay so this is what we mean by memory segmentation so in 8086 there are four different segments okay so the memory is divided into four different segments core segment data segment stack segment and extra segment now what is this core segment core segment of the memory is going to hold all the programs and the essential code now this data segment and extra segment they are going to hold the data this used for processing and stack segment is going to use for the stack area which has a specific purpose now what do we see on the left hand side as we know we have to identify these segments with proper address now since it's not one single memory it is of different specific segments we need to access these specific segments according to our requirement so to store the addresses of these specific segments we have what are called segment registers in 8086 so for every memory segment that is code data extra and stack we have a register code segment register data segment register stack segment register and extra segment register now what are these registers are for each of these registers they are going to store the starting address of the different segments say here cs indicates code segment register it is going to store the starting address of the code segment ss is going to store the starting address of the stack segment and ds is the data segment register which is going to store the starting address of the data segment and finally es is going to store the starting address of the extra segment now these registers are 16 bit in size these registers these segment registers are 16 bit in size and they store what is called the base address since they are 16 bit in size they can store only maximum of 16 bits so they store what is called the 
base address. Later in this video, we will see what is a base address and how our requirement of 20 bit address is satisfied. Okay. Now, this is a diagram showing the right hand side you see the memory segmentation on the left hand side you could see the various segment registers storing the base address or the starting address of each of these locations. Now we are going to see the most important thing how to generate a 20 bit address from a 16 bit address because to need if we need to access the memory in the case of 8086 we need a 20 bit address but all our segment registers they have only 16 bit address. So, what do we do about it? Okay. Now, this actually this 20 bit address is called the physical address. Okay. But we will be given what is called the logical address. Logical address consists of two parts. One is a base address, the other one is the offset. Your base address is nothing but the starting address which is stored in the segment registers. Now, what is this offset? Offset is the displacement from the starting location of a segment. So, in this case, you could see that there are different segments shown in the grade section and each segment has a start segment address, the base address or the starting address indicated by this arrow and these offsets are nothing but the offset address which is away from the segment address, how far they are displaced from the starting of the segment. You could see the offset indicated within the segment. Okay. Now, we are going to see an example how to generate a 20 bit address from a logical address. So, we saw that the logical address has a form of base address and offset. So, in this example, the logical address is given as 2222H colon 0016H. So, we know that 2222H is a base address and 0016H is a logical address. Now, this 2222H is a value of the DS. It is given in this problem, it is the value of DS. What is DS register? Data segment register. Now, we have the base address and offset. So, how do we calculate the effective physical address? So, we know that the value of the data segment register is 2222H. Now, we need a 20 bit address. For that, first step is we have to append 0 to the value in the data segment register. So, when I append to 0, what will happen here? Already we have 2222. When we append 0, it will become 2222H. Okay. Next, what we have to do? The next step is we have to add the offset to this offset address. So, we had 2222 in the data segment register. We appended 0 to it. Now, we have to add the offset which is 0016. So, we get the result as after adding, we get the result as 2222 36H which is nothing but the effective address. So, if you look at this diagram, so we have the data segment register which is holding the starting address of this segment which is 2222H. So, it is pointing the starting address of the segment. Then you have the offset that is the displacement from the starting point and the offset says 0016 which means 16 locations from the starting point. So, what is the address, exact physical address of the 16th location from the starting point? So, for that what we have to do? We have to append 0 to the value in the data segment register. So, it becomes 22220 and then we have to add the offset which gives the effective address 22236H. So, in general, so, the bus interface unit calculates the effective address. So, how to calculate the effective address? It is nothing but starting address of the segment which is available in the segment register plus the offset. Okay. So, to the starting address of the segment, the bus interface unit will append a 0 and then it will add it to the offset. Okay. Now, we have been talking about various segments. There are four segments. Now, what is the size of each segment? We know that the total size of the memory that can be accessed by 8086 is 1 MB. Now, what about the size of each segment? Now, we know that the segment register size is 16 bit, which means the offset address can be of size 16 bits. So, we saw earlier when the number of address bits being 20, we can have a 
addressable memory of size 1 MB which is 2 power 20. But in this case it is only 16. So what is 2 power 16? It is nearly 64 KB which means your segments can be of size maximum size 64 KB. So in 8086 all the segments are of size 64 KB. So the starting offset will be 000H and the ending offset will be FFFFH. So to summarize so we have a memory which is divided into four segments CS, DS, ES and SS each of size 64 KB totally it will come up to 1 MB and for each of these segments we have the segment registers which has the base address or the starting address and where is the offset address where it will be. So offset addresses will be stored in specific registers. See we have registers IP instruction pointer SI source index register, DI destination index and SP stack pointer, BP base pointer. These registers, these are 16 bit registers available in 8086 and these registers will hold the offset addresses for the corresponding segment registers. That is the offset address for the code segment register will be in IP. The offset address for the DS data segment register will be in SI. For the extra segment register this offset will be available in DI. For SS that is for the stack segment register you could get the offset address either in SP or BP. So how will you get the physical address? It's nothing but stack segment address into 10H plus offset address. So for example so I have these values in these registers that is my CS has 2222H my DS, there is the CS, DS, SS, they, we are talking about the segment registers. They have these values CS has 2222H, DS has 4444H, SS has 2520, IP has 1222H, SP 1500, DI 0100. Now, with this, how we will be able to generate the effective address? So, we will just see one by one. That is, we have to calculate the corresponding physical addresses for the address bytes in CS, B, DS and SS. So first we'll take the CS. So in CS, we have the value 2222H. So what is the corresponding offset address for the CS? So the offset address will always be there in IP for the CS. So what is the value in IP? 1222. So how will I calculate? So first I take the value in CS, 2222, I will append 0 to it. And then I will add it with the offset value in IP which is 1222 which gives me the effective address 23442. Similarly, if I take DS, it is having an address 444H. So now I have to append 0 to it and then add it with the offset. The offset is having, the offset is available in the DI. So 0100, if I add it, I will get the answer that is the effective address. Similarly, if I take SS stack segment register, its value is 2520. I should append 0 to it and then I should add it with the offset. So now we know how to generate other effective address from the logical address. So even though the system is going to do, so an understanding will give us the purpose of the various registers and how it actually works. Hope all of you have understood or clear with how an effective address is uh, generated from the logical address. Thank you.